as Mr. Emmons quotes him in this book, it's clear that you were guilty of murder, and yet he says in all his conversations with you, he never heard you express remorse. Have you never felt it? Remorse for what? You people have done everything in the world to me. Doesn't that give me equal right? I can do anything I want to you people at any time I want to, because that's what you've done to me. If you spit in my face and smack me in the mouth and throw me in solitary confinement for nothing, what do you think's gonna happen when I get out of here? Uh, guilty. Hmm. I wouldn't do anything that I felt guilty about. You don't feel guilty at all? There's no need to feel guilty. I haven't done anything I'm ashamed of. Maybe I haven't done enough. I might be ashamed of that for not doing enough, for not giving enough. For not being more perceptive, for not being aware enough, for not understanding, for uh, being stupid. Maybe I should have killed four or five hundred people, then I would have felt better. Then when I felt like I really offered society something. You know, if I wanted to kill somebody, I'd take this book and beat you to death with it, and I wouldn't feel a thing. It'd be just like walking to the drugstore. Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like Wolfie Bob Ruff Rennes? Get Rennes, but you put you to get a Rennes to get to get to get to get to Google. Do you feel guilty for stabbing for the greatest to Roger Bagger? Newell Emmons is an ex-convict who first met Manson in prison in the 50s. He claims he wrote the Manson book after seven years of conversation with Manson to show that he's no leader, no guru, but just a loser. Why should anyone care to read this book? My purpose when I first started was virtually to destroy the myth. I showed that he's not as complex or as the occult leader, etc., that uh, he's been projected as being. I don't fit in society and I am incompetent. I'm definitely incompetent. I would say that. Oh, I, I say that. I say that. I want, there's nothing wrong with being incompetent because you don't have to do as much. Uh, if you're confident, then you got a lot to do, see? But there's, 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 a, there's another aspect of it, too. Um, I've learned to reflect. I just reflect back. I know I don't know. I know I'm stupid. I admit I'm a petty whatever. I've never been a success at anything. I even got to the point where I didn't want to be a success at anything. What would be a success? What does that mean, you know? Money? Oh, I've had all the money in the world three times and I had to give it back. That's a stupid little game, you know? My awareness and my consciousness is not the same as somebody that goes to school and has a mom and dad. See, not having parents have left me in a, another dimension, so to say, you know? I don't have no bad going for nothing. I don't judge. I hardly even think about too much. It's hard for me to remember breakfast. In fact, if I didn't have two or three girls to help me, I would pretty much be lost and I wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing. You write in that in all your conversations with Charles Manson, he never expressed remorse. But have you seen any today? I mean, he, perhaps he believes totally in his own mind that he's not guilty. You guys got this stuff in your head that I've murdered somebody. You've got it stuck in your brain that I murdered somebody. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here! Who is this man you've been talking to for seven years? Well, the, the, to me, he's a, a convict that was a failure. I mean, uh, I mean, he's the person that uh, is not capable. I mean, and I still lay it to the way the book uh, reads. It wasn't to uh, start cleaning the earth or anything. I mean, there was a drug burn that initiated the first one, and uh, the black guy that first uh, tone of violence that surfaced anyway and then the death of Gary Hinn and there again it was dope related and uh, it just kept feeding from there and uh, so it had no uh, spiritual aspects at all it was just a bunch of guys out there kids out there that was living and doing their own thing and it used to be party time and play time and then through drugs and the whole bit well it started getting a little bit nasty a little bit meaner and the first thing you know there's murders my whole life, I burglarized the grocery store, sold some nickels and dimes, busted open a stamp machine, stole a few automobiles, and cashed a couple checks. I'm a petty car. I've uh, been with.
prostitutes and bums and winos and all my life. Uh, the street is my world. I don't, uh, I don't pretend to go uptown and be anything fancy. I can, but I find more real in the world that I'm in than I do the tinsel. And the real world is the one I have to deal with every day. Uh, believe me, if I started murdering people, there'd be none of you left.